much higher here across portions of the River Valley. Uh, you can see near Branch and Paris and Magazine. This is the rotation risk, and then the damaging wind risk is just right on the heels of that, now moving through central portions of Franklin County. Garrett, let's take a look at rotation tracker on that Go real ahead. quick, because we could possibly oh, see a developing tornado right out of this right now. Uh, this is going to be in uh, uh, southern Franklin County. This is just southwest of Altus. Uh, so from Etna, Roseville, Roseville's in Logan County. It's just across the river, but this rotation will move. Uh, it's just to the east of Peter Pender, uh, likely a developing tornado now in South Franklin County. So this is from basically Whitaker Village South, Altus heading into the Altus Bottoms, the Greenwood community south of Altus, and then Roseville just across the river. This is, this is going to be the river bottoms uh, down in uh, South Franklin County. Looks like it moves south of the Ozark area, but another product I'm looking at over here. This is really wrapped up coming towards it, Al This Altus. is really, really starting to, to develop into something uh, that we need to be concerned about. Uh, very, very strong uh, uh, signatures here on radar of a developing tornado. And I think a tornado could be occurring with this. So if you're in Etna, Altus, or Whitaker Village, move to a safe place now. We are looking at developing rotation in that area. We've also got a hit on rotation tracker. Let's track the rotation. This is that merger with the line and the supercell, which has, has intensified that rotation coming towards Ozark, coming towards Altus, and coming towards Coal Hill. If you live in Altus, Ozark, or Coal Hill, move to a safe place now, get to the center part of your home, and get away from windows. Now we're gonna get back over to um, um, the um, images here that show exactly where the uh, rotation's located. And then also, Joe, if you don't mind, check my Facebook page and see if you can see any okay. damage reports towards the bottom, some of the latest ones that have come into us. We may get some damage reports from Charleston or Ratcliffe from that, the damaging line of winds. Um, but what I'm focused in on now is that little hook. I do think that a tornado could be occurring right now near Etna and Altus. If we look inside the storm here, um, sure enough, look at the reflectivity here near Etna. Very strong. There's a new sweep still showing strong rotation here. And not only strong rotation, but damaging winds from Charleston to Branch to Ratcliffe, punching into Carbon City and Paris. Etna, Meg, um, Altus under the immediate threat of a developing tornado. You can actually see the hook echo here on radar, uh, and that is coming towards us in the Altus area. So if you live in Altus, we do have a risk of a tornado that is developing right now that's going to be a little bit higher. Not only that, but something else catches my eye here in Crawford County. We still do have tornado warnings in effect. Let me look at this cell here. Look at the bow echo, how it bows all the way around, but look how it curls here. Let's see if we can find any swirling winds within this area southwest of Mountainburg, and we do. We do have a little spin-up possible southwest of Mountainburg. It's not as strong as that other one that's near Altus, but there wouldn't, uh, there is a possibility here southwest of Mountainburg that we could be dealing with a brief spin-up as well. Uh, the damaging winds finally over with in Fort Smith. They're over with in Van Buren. Uh, they're coming to a close in Barling. Hang in there. It's, it's not over just yet, and it's on uh, big time here for Lavaca over to Charleston. There is some redevelopment back to the west. Those storms could be severe, uh, but it's ending for a lot of us now. In northwest Arkansas, we're ending from west to east here, from Rogers to Pea Ridge. Uh, boy, look at this thing come down in Fayetteville. What do we have as far as winds go here in the Fayetteville area? Let's take a look inside and see. We don't see any bright green colors, so we know we don't have any big damage going on, um, but we could have some small limbs blown down. We're looking at winds at about 21 miles an hour, 37 in Fayetteville, uh, 32. Let's see here near Greenland, 39. I think the average here is going to be neighborhood 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gusts. That's going to be possible with these thunderstorm cells that are moving into the area uh, here in northwest Arkansas. And they're really making a lot of noise, too. There's a lot of lightning within this, but the severe wind threat is actually much greater here across portions of the Arkansas River Valley and especially getting into portions of Franklin County near Ozark. Again, a cell merger with the supercell. Look at it now. A uh, new radar scan showing this right over the Roseville area uh, and near Altus. Hey. Um, Joe, you got a lot of family in that area. What's going on? You heard anything from them? Garrett, well, we're getting reports Look at this, right now. Here. This, is, uh, right here. this is coming from Rick Covert, a possible tornado passing north of the Coxville area. This is coming in from a ham radio uh, storm spotter. The path of that takes it uh, into into the um, Altus area and, and from Altus Denning, the Greenwood community. So basically that's Highway 64 right there. Altus mm -hmm. South, that's going to be Carbon Plant Road. Uh, that's where the possible tornado is going to be affected. This is going to be heading toward the Altus Bottoms. Uh, so if you are in anywhere from Whitaker Village on top of mm -hmm. St. Mary's Mountain all the way down into the bottoms, you need to be in a safe place immediately. Yeah, Greenwood, Altus, Denning, 
The Weedaker Village area, Ozark likely getting some big hail that's falling now. Take shelter immediately in the Altus and the Denning area. We do have what we believe to be a tornado on radar now um, and a report. Was that tornado report on the ground? That that was a report of a tornado on the ground in the Coxville area and it looks earlier. Just, it looks very wrapped up here on radar. Let's see if we can sample some of the wind speeds uh, within this storm and I suspect we're going to see some 60s and possibly some 70s. There's 50, uh, 50, 62, uh, looking at 47 um, outbound and then about 57 inbound. So we're looking at wind speed swirling of about 100 miles per hour here, uh, real close to each other coming in towards Greenwood, Altus, Denning, and Weedaker Village. If you're in this area, please treat this very seriously and move to the middle part of your home and get away from windows until this storm moves through and get away from mobile homes as well. It's moving right towards the Altus area. Let me back out of this storm. This is a supercell merger, so we actually have a true core of winds spinning in the middle of the atmosphere that actually merged up with the damaging line of winds, which is now moving into Charleston and the Paris area. So uh, rotation tracker, Joe, we're still on this big time here. Yeah, I'm looking at another product behind the scenes, uh, what we call normalized rotation mm -hmm. and there is very likely we got a report of a tornado on the ground earlier there is very likely a tornado on the ground this is just west of the Altus area so it looks like it's going to pass south of Ozark mm -hmm. but it's heading up from South Franklin County so it's going to come at you it's going to be coming across the river right here right uh, at Altus yeah right mm -hmm. at Altus so it's going to be coming up if you're uh, if you're in Altus you're looking basically south toward the bottoms toward the river that's where the tornado is going to be coming from it's going to be coming up toward the bottoms mm -hmm. toward the river up toward Altus so it's coming into Altus across the mountain St. Mary's mm -hmm. Mountain Whitaker Village you need to be in a safe place now this is a very dangerous situation and you're driving east on Interstate 40, probably wouldn't go any farther than Weedaker Village. If you're driving westbound, I probably wouldn't go any farther than Coal Hill until this thing crosses the interstate. It's moving in on Altus and Denning, Denning now, or Denning now um, and these storms, are, are. this is likely producing a tornado. Uh, I, don't, I don't know that. Where are you hearing those reports from again? Yeah, I'm not sure about that right now. Um, a tornado could be occurring, though, in Altus and Denning. We're getting numerous reports, too, um, of, um, of a tornado on the ground moving towards Altus and Denning. Um, Denning uh, and Whitaker Village here, and uh, I'll tell you what, Joe, these values are very high on this storm. We, we've been talking about the Bow Echo, and I know we've got a lot going on, but I think Altus under the immediate threat right now of a developing tornado. Yeah, if you are anywhere, uh, Roseville, that's going to be on the Logan County side, the bottoms on the Logan County side. You need to be in your safe place all up. the way north of the mountain. So if you're north of St. Mary's Mountain on the other side of the interstate, get to your safe place now. This is this is right on top of Altus that right could now. Be that is that is right through that's from that's from highway 64 that's right on top of denning um right over greenwood right the greenwood community so if you're in hunt uh hunt town in uh, yes, uh yes. in uh northern johnson county get to your safe place now don't mess around with it this is right on this is right on top of the city of altus right now this typically is a sign that the tornado is on the ground and could be lofting some debris. A lot of times we refer to this sometimes as a debris ball. It does look like this tornado is on the ground here near Altus and Denning. Uh, it's on top of you guys in Altus. Hang in there, crank the TV up. It's moving towards Weedaker Village and it's moving towards Interstate 40, towards Coal Hill right now. And we're showing very intense rotation on this storm in eastern Franklin County on top of Altus and Denning. Not only that, but there's something we call rear flank downdraft on the back side of the storm. This is damaging wind all the way down through Etna and through Ozark. Um, right now, tornado uh, likely occurring here in Altus and the Denning area. Please treat this very seriously. This is a life-threatening situation in eastern Franklin County. Doesn't include you guys in Ozark as of right now, but I do believe a tornado could be on the ground right now in Altus. Um, I also want to check out this storm back to the south and take a peek at this because I've noticed it had a little bit of a bend in it. I want to examine it for rotation here. Um, no, damaging wind within this. Tornado threat Altus. That's what we're looking at right now across eastern Franklin County. Let me zoom back out here and we're going to loop the radar imagery here. Um, tornado, uh, tornado tracker still showing a tornado threat, tornado likely moving over this area. Um, let me swing back over to um, the radar imagery here and show you guys some of the exact locations that are going to be affected as far as street level mapping goes. And I'm going to get in on street level and show you where this storm is in eastern Franklin County right over Altus moving towards Alix uh, and the Coal Hill area near Weedaker Village, very close now, moving very close to the interstate. 
some of the streets that are going to be affected by this. We'll jump over to uh, Rotation Tracker here and look on street level mapping uh, and see what we've got going on. And I'm looking at, uh, looking at East Main Street in Altus, Fairhaven Road. I'm also looking at I-40. You're going to be running just to the south of I-40 by about five miles with this storm. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Let me zoom back in a little bit tighter here. Let's see here. Let's look at this a little bit closer. Uh, Denning, Cedar Creek Road, Alex Road, West Highway 64, County Highway 7. We, we are getting calls. We're getting calls in the newsroom that it is on the ground in Altus. Joe, any new information? Yeah, just talked to somebody in the Greenwood community, the carbon plant that's going to be south of Altus. They are reporting some damage. Um, so um, we don't know anything other than that, but likely a very dangerous situation unfolding.